In this video, we're going to look at practical applications of perimeter, area, and volume. And we're going to start with example one. And here we have an image I have taken from Google Earth. It is an image of the Mwilimba Mustangs football field. So this is close to where I live. Now, in rugby league, the distance between the football posts is 100 metres. And I've marked the football posts at both ends and shown you the distance between them as 100 metres. Now, in question A, they want us to calculate the scale for the following image. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a ruler and we're going to measure the distance between the football posts. And it is 6.2 centimeters. So we'll write that down. So 6.2 centimeters represents 100 meters in real life. So let's write it as a ratio. 6.2 centimeters on the left and 100 meters on the right. Now, what we want to do when we get this ratio is we want to get rid of the units and we want to have the number one on the left hand side. It makes everything else a lot easier when we get to that point. So let's work on that now. Um, all right, so first of all, I'll make them the same units. So 100 meters is the same as 10,000 centimeters. And once they're in the same units, you can actually get rid of the units. You can take the centimeters away. All right, so what we want to do is we want to divide both sides by 6.2. And the reason we're doing that is because 6.2 divides 6.2 is 1. That's going to give us 1 on the left, which is what we're aiming for. And now we'll do the right-hand side. Bringing up my calculator, 10,000 divided by 6.2 gives me 1,612.9. We'll just round it to one, one decimal place. So 1,612.9. I'll just double check that I wrote that down. Excellent. Okay, so we've completed question A. We've got our scale here. We'll now move on to question B. All right, now in question B, it says the Mwilimba Mustangs need to install barrier fencing for the field as shown with a white border here. What is the perimeter of the barrier fencing? Now we'll just write down our scale because we're going to use that later on. So our scale was 1 to 1612.9, meaning that everything you see in the image is 1612.9 times bigger than that. So if we want to find the perimeter of the barrier fencing, we need to grab our ruler and measure the lengths of uh, the edges. Now, I already did this earlier. What I found was that the length of our barrier fencing was 7.9 centimeters, and the breadth of my barrier fencing came out to 5.2 centimeters. And you can check that with your ruler if you like. And if we want to find the perimeter, or capital P, we need to add up four sides. So two of the sides were 7.9 centimeters, and two of the sides were 5.2 centimeters. And when you add all of these sides together, you are going to get 26.2 centimeters. Now that is the drawing length we need to come up with the actual real life length. And to do that, we need to multiply our 26.2 by 1612.9. And let's see what we get when we do that. 26.2 times 1612.9. And we get uh, 42,257.98. So we'll round this to 42,258. 42,258. And that's still in centimeters. So if we want to convert this to meters, we just bring the decimal point in twice. We'd have 422.58 
meters of barrier fencing that we need to install. We'll now move on to question C now. This time the Mustangs are thinking of installing a water tank next to the change rooms. They must first calculate the area of the roof to see how much water will be collected when it rains. What is the area of the roof? Now, a little note, the roof is made from a rectangle and a trapezium shape. So this is the roof over here. And you can see I've drawn the rectangle and trapezium shape separate to each other, just to help with writing down our measurements. Now I've already measured it up and I found that the rectangle shape was 1.3 centimeters by 0.35 centimeters and I found that the trapezium which I'll, I'll actually make myself a bit more room here had measurements of um, 1.3 centimeters 0.6 centimeters and then it had a height of 0.3 three centimeters okay now I've really I've run out of room here so what I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna to have to delete my picture so I've got some working out room now whenever you find area you actually need to convert your lengths into actual real-life lengths first before you find the area so remembering our scale which is 1 to 1612 Point 0.9. So we've got quite a few different lengths here. We've got a length of 0.35 centimeters. We have a length of uh, 1.3 centimeters, a length of 0.6 centimeters, and a length of 0.3 centimeters. So about four different lengths that we're using here. And each one of them needs to be multiplied by 1612.9 in order to figure out the real life lengths of this roof. Okay. So what are we going to get? I'm going to actually pause, work these out and just put the answers up for you. All right, so I performed my calculations in, in this column here and these were all in centimeters and I rounded it to the nearest whole number and then I converted it into meters in this column by simply taking the decimal point in twice. So we're going to use the units that are in meters and we're going to replace the units that we can see on the image here. So for instance I'm going to rub out the 1.3 centimeters because 1.3 centimeters is 20.97 meters and I'm going to rewrite it in the real life measurements. Uh, 0 0.35 centimeters is really 5.65 meters. Uh, we did 1.3 centimeters before, that is 20.97 meters, this length here. Um, our 0 0.3 centimeters, the height of our trapezium, is uh, 4.84 meters. And finally, our 0 0.6 meter length is 9.68 meters. 9.68 meters, this distance here. All right, so we'll start by finding the area of the rectangle. And we'll use a subscript of capital R to show that this is the rectangle. And to find the area of the rectangle, we simply multiply the two sides. So we go 20.97 times 5.65. Bringing up our calculator, 20.97 times 5.65 equals, and let's round it to 118. So this is 118 meters squared. All right, now the area of the trapezium, which is a little trickier, we've got to use our formula H over two times A plus B. Uh, in case you're wondering what the H, the A and the B are, when you look at your trapezium, you'll have two sides that are parallel. And the two sides that are parallel represent your A and your B. And the H, or the height, is the height between the two parallel sides. So we'll sub those values in. H is 
0.84 over 2 times a plus b. So a is 20.97 and b is 9.68. All right, so bringing up our calculator, we're going to go 4.84 divide 2 times bracket 20.97 plus 9.68, close our brackets, equals, and we'll round it to 74. So 74 meters squared. Now that we've done that, we need to find the total area of the roof. So we'll go A with a subscript of total for total area, and we just add our two areas up, 118 plus 74. What are we going to get? I think we're going to get 192 square meters for the area of the roof. Now that concludes example one. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.